Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Bourbon Skittle. I wanted to share with you what I've been doing. I've been crafting these. Um, well, do it yourself. <laughs> Not sure the crafting. I don't know. I've been making these. Uh, the very first one I made, and I show pictures on my Instagram, but um, this is a binder clip. And because I didn't have these yet, I ordered these from Amazon and but I really wanted to try this uh, Montessori uh, style boho um, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what else to call it but I love these teether toys now these are teether toys they're not to be used by real babies because I mean, I have used cotton here, but they're not organic, I don't think, so a real baby chewing on these would not be a good idea, I don't think. And my window is open, so if you hear traffic going by, that's why I live on, I live in a small town, but I live on the busiest streets, so, um, so I like these, I really like these. And then I started, I got these in the mail these wooden uh, rings which also should not be given to a real baby because they're not protected so but I thought they were so cute I mean as props and then I decided to try um, this kind of this is jute twine so definitely not for a real baby but I mean um, they're so pretty for, for props. And I finally, I finally perfected a pattern. So I'm very proud of myself. Um, I've been addicted to making these, as you can see. Uh, but this, this is my very first one and I messed up a lot. If you could see that, I messed up a lot, like... I wasn't really sure what I was doing. Um, I do have a second one in here. I forget where. But anyways, I... Oh yeah, and I also made a passy clip out of the jute. And I bought these from Amazon too. So, yay, they came in. So I put one of my pacifiers on here. What do you think, guys? Do you think these are... See, I've been asking on my Instagram and in a group that I'm in if these are worthy of giveaways. Like, would you want one of these? I made... This is going to be for my friend Bree. I'm going to gift her one of these. Um, I decided because she has a dog um, and because this is jute, I'm not sure if dogs, I don't know. I, I don't know. I think a con, if the dog ever got a hand on these, this would be the less harmful. I'm, I think, <laughs> but just to be safe, because um, somebody commented about the jute that they're allergic to jute twine so maybe dogs are too i don't know so anyway this one is for my friend brie i'm making some more as gifts um i'm making one for my friend jessica um actually i might i might make them a passy clip one too but these six right here so I made three of each, if you could see, let's see it lower. I made three right here of the jute twine. And I made three of these cotton ones. And these I am gifting to um, my friend Wendy. And these so i'm gifting all of these to wendy and she plans on giving adding them to her box openings so um i i actually i did order some thank you cards 
to add to these um, because I do plan on doing giveaways with these and I do plan on gifting some of these. And if I get enough feedback, if they're worthy of selling. So, so, oh, and there goes the light. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. getting hot in here. So these six will be going to Wendy. And she said that she would include them with her box openings. Because she's a reborn artist. Weeby Dolls. Wendy of Weeby Dolls. Now, along with this project, I also decided to try something like, like a rattle. A Montessori uh, baby rattle. Now, this is jute twine, so it can be used for a real baby. But, I mean, for an accessory, for a prop, I think it's a wonderful, beautiful idea. Like, are these worthy of giveaways? Would you guys like to win one of these i don't know i i personally like them but i don't know if everyone else likes them now i also decided to try because i mean i only have like the white cotton or the jute the brown jute i do like them but i thought you know what would look good with this wood it's like different colors and <laughs> you can see the blue in the corner there but my first one I tried this dark red one. And this is Wendy's favorite color, by the way. Wendy of Weeby Dolls. Uh, she loves this burgundy color. So I originally made this for her. But it's really thin. So, and then I thought, well, what if I, like, because this is double. This is double. And I tried to do a pattern. And then I thought, well, I want it thicker. So I tried this blue one, which looks stunning. I love this blue. And same sort of pattern I tried. I messed up a little bit. But I mean, I like the thickness. I like them thick. I like this one the best. This one held its shape really well. This one didn't. But what do you guys think? Like, I don't know. I, I'm really enjoying this idea. And I wanted to make a baby rattle with um, beads. But the thing is, I can't. in our town, we don't have big enough beads. These are the biggest beads that we have. And I wanted bigger ones than this. But I do want to share with you. Um, it's like, I've been keep storing them in these bags. Remember, I live from a small town, so the only big beads, like I want beads this size, but I only have wood in this town. This is from our dollar store. It's called Northern Lights. I mean, nothing there is ever really a dollar. It's going to be more. Wait, wait. Two dollars and a dollar. What? They're the exact same. <gasps> Why? These are two of the exact same bag and one is worth more? Oh, I got jip. Oh, wait, this is... Oh, maybe this is one I made for Brie. I can't remember. I thought... Oh, I'll forget. Oh, oh, this is the first one I made because I remember the longer tail. I asked for feedback and people were saying the smaller tail, so I did a smaller tail on this one. Okay, so that's still a for me. This is mine. I love these beads. I love them. These are the colors that I have all in here. And I went back to the store to buy more, and they're sold out. And I'm like, why? Why do I have to live in a little town? So these I got from Amazon. There's little, little ones and bigger ones. Oh, and these are, I have these kind of passy clips in a bunch. And here's the only jute toy I have left. I want to buy more. And these are those, the wooden passy clips. Oh, I got gypped at the, oh. Anyways, I'm not happy with that. Okay, is this my original one? Yeah, okay. 
So I have, I just put them in a bag for now. Um, these are some extras. This is a bag I got from Amazon. This is what I ordered. I ordered, it was like a hundred piece of rings that came in different sizes. See, I put the extra beads in here and there's I have more clips. Oh, and I still have a couple of these clips left too. But I really like the wooden ones. So I have this size and they come with like really, really super small. And then a few broken pieces. And this one was cracked. So. But I don't know. I don't want to throw them out. You never know. Okay. So this is my just leftover bag. And plus there's beads in there that are really super tiny. I don't have a use for them yet. But these. These are the color of yarn. Like, that inspired me to make these, although this is pretty thin. I'll probably redo this. But I bought, I also bought a green color. I thought they would look really good with the wood. What do you guys think? And here's that, here's the string I've been using. Um, this, I, you know what, I, I was throwing this out. But then I thought, well, hey, I can make tags, thank you tags, and add them to here. So I'm going to be using string to for the tags. My thank you tags and my channel name tags. This is, I'll show you why. Because I also... Oh, I also bought these. Oh, I hope. Oh, and I bought these colors. These are the only colors they had left. So at least these two are the same price, dollar seven five. So I thought, hey, I can add names to those, to these. Instead, of those I could. I don't know. I thought I could experiment with that. So I have these colors. I have green, orange, um, the same pinks. There's blue. I thought that would look nice. And these I like because the yellow and the blue. I really like that blue. This is correct. 375. Yeah, three soon and five. But I really like the purple ones that I had. Oh, and I bought these bags. I thought, you know, I didn't even. These are the biggest ones that they had. So I hope it fits. I don't know. Let's try it. Yeah, what do you think? And then I'll have my card in here, my thank you card, along with it. Oh, maybe I don't even have to. Maybe I don't even have to tie them on. I could just stick the card in here along with it. Do you think? What do you think of this? Or do you not like these baggies? Or are they? I was kind of hoping for a bag like this, wide but like long, but they don't have any. I don't know, what do you guys think? This is just an idea, and it's the very first time I ever made anything like this, but I have a, I've been having a lot of fun with this. I really, really enjoy making them, but I thought they would be perfect for future giveaways because I can easily mail them, like just buy those um, ballooned envelopes or cushy envelopes because they're not that expensive. I don't know. Please, guys, any feedback would be highly, highly appreciated. But, um, 
I know that I, I will be gifting those to Wendy. I will be gifting that to Bree, and I will be gifting one to Jessica. And for giveaways, I have I have an idea for a giveaway, but I, I need to write them down first. So, but what do you think of these? Please be honest. Um, I know that people have been saying that the, this one is a ton better than these. Like, uh, and I love how it holds its shape. But, I don't know, these bold colors, I just love them. Like a, like a thick one. I don't know. Uh, or even like if I crocheted. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but as props, I think they would look gorgeous. So anyways, guys, that's what I've been up to lately. I hope that you guys are doing great. And please, any feedback, any feedback at all, any suggestions. You know, I've been having a hard time, like, how to end these. So um, I think I figured out a good way for that. And, like, I tried to, I don't know, what do you think? Um, this one was, oh, these ones were hard to tie. These ones. These seem simple, but I just want to make sure that they won't fall apart. Because I would hate that. This one's too skinny. I know that. This, I'll probably just destroy this one. Make another one. Make a fatter one. But, um, yeah. That's what I've been up to. And I will be doing another video today. I want to do a pasty scoop. So, stay tuned for that. I'll probably upload you this one first. But, yeah. Please tell me, guys, do you like these? Are they worthy of gifts, of giveaways? And even so, would you buy something like this? I don't know. I don't know. Selling, um, I never, um, never sold anything I made before. <laughs> I think I would prefer giveaways from my channel. And I have an idea on what kind of rules I'm like. So you just guys hope that you have a great day. Ramble, ramble, ramble like I always do. But uh, stay tuned for Posse Scoop. And play along with the Posse Scoops. I love it when you guys play with me. It's so much fun. So you just guys hope that you're having a great day. And until next time. Love you guys. Bye for now guys. Bye. Love you. Bye guys. <laughs>